All right. So this is update 2.5 of the paper full fix. I added a few elements. I wanted to add a few more, but unfortunately things got delayed a little bit on the human resources side of things. I had gotten somebody to help me out to gather some assets for these and that has been delayed. So yeah, but I was able to put together a couple of things and I wanted to give you already something. So let me just show you real quick what is new on the paper full effects. First of all, as you have probably seen the GIF on the YouTube channel, if you saw the community post, there's these looping text or letters, basically. It's just something that I, I remember having seen these effect, right, of the letters, but then the font was changing or the actual letter itself, right? So I decided to put together those uh, from set two to five into a looped version of those letters. So as you can see here, if I press play right now, it's not gonna render in real time as quickly. For some reason, the frame drops. And a quick tip already, if you will have two of the same letters and you don't want them to be, um, to have that same animation, what you can do is simply offset like I did here. Now these letters have the frame repeat because let me just set this up right here on the side. Let me make this bigger right here. Now, if I reset all the controls, this is going to look like this. And watch out, because it's going to be really quick. So I don't want you to have a, a seizure or something. That's what it looks like if you don't move the frame repeat. And if that is the effect you're going for, then that's cool. But what you can do here is press, let's say five, and then press enter. Make sure to press enter, because for some reason, sometimes things get bugged out and it doesn't want to correctly repeat five frames for each image i don't know why that is it was just a weird bug that i encountered okay and now if we press play these changes after every five frames and then the actual thing just gonna repeat itself but it's a little bit slower and then you also have the controls right here normal position controls size control angle and also the flip controls if you want to flip your text and that's pretty much it now another thing that i had added was i need to grab an image Okay, I'm okay. So I have this image right here, and that's one of the new things that I added, which is the now the other thing that I added are the paper textures. And I basically grabbed if you check the effects, go to paper right here, we have the actual paper animation right here that previews like that, right? So what I did was I converted the final stage. So like how the paper is right now open like that. And I turned all of those into effects that you can use on top of the image if you don't want them to have the animation. So you can see the textures right here. If you go to effects, then suave, then paperful, and then there's a textures option. And you can simply add these as an overlay to an element that you have right here. And you have the apply mode. You also have the position controls and so on that you can adjust if, if you want to have these on a specific image like that. There was one thing that I wanted to check on these was that I wanted to see if there was a way to add a mask input to the actual macros, but that's going to be uh, the up in, in the list of things for the next update. So yeah, those are the textures that you can add to any element. And this was actually came up from like somebody asking if I could turn these into textures so because they were using the transitions and they wanted to the element to continuously have that same texture that that transition had so that's why i added these as effects and also i added these same ones as generators in case you want to have these as a background for example so if you go to generators you go to suave then we have pre-made Slash elements, then you will find the where is this? Yeah, under pre made collage elements, you will find the paper textures generators, which are the same ones right here. So you can just drag this paper texture right here, the number 10, and then you will have to adjust the blend mode if you want it, if you want it to be a lot um, more noticeable right here. As you can see, by default, it's a little bit low on the opacity blending mode. And then also you have the apply mode right here that you can change and also the position controls if you want to make these bigger, smaller. And if you want to animate these, for example, you can uh, modify these with a shake, for example. Now go to settings or not settings right here, but you'll have to go to fusion itself. With it selected, you can go to modifiers and then the paper itself is going to shake right here. But you have to change these to, let's say, 50 and then 
negative 50. Now let's see if, if the angle actually moves like that. It's moving, but you can go and change the smoothness and it's going to be a lot crazier. Now, it's not exactly a, an interesting, I mean, you could probably make it work with something, but I was trying to find a way to make this more like a choppy animation. And this one exactly doesn't quite work that well. But let me see if I go to the spline to right here and select the angle, if I can actually change this. No, there's no way to change the, I wanted to add more like a choppy sort of like a cut in or cut out animation here. Right? So uh, yeah, that is something that you can do here. Just animate them and uh, make them more interesting. So those are the couple of things that I've added on the paperful effects. Now for the next update, probably it's going to be update number three or paperful effect V3. I'm hoping to already have a bunch more elements, including numbers, which was another request that people made. And that's main, that is the main focus right now for the person that's helping me out with those elements. And then I'm also working on figuring out a way to add the intro and outro controls. That was something else that was requested for the actual effects because some people wanted to have the effect without like, let's say they didn't want the effect to, to finish out and fall out again, or they only wanted it to fall out so like that. So that is something that I want that I have to put together to for these as well. And it's a little bit more complex because it requires a little bit more tweaking and probably it's gonna mess this whole thing up and I have to rebuild all this stuff again. But that is part of the process. Hopefully, if you already have the pack, make sure to check out the, your dashboard so that you can re-download these and, or download the new version and update yours. And if you don't, then make sure to check out paperfulleffects.com to find out more of what this plugin or toolkit has to offer. That is it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one here in Swabi. Bye.